Look, I would say uh, I generally agree with uh, what uh, Vice President Shinas has mentioned. Of course, his the picture he he gave was a little bit too optimistic because the awareness of the people in the member states and that are the sovereigns in the all the, in all the uh, 27 member states is a little bit different from this. But nevertheless, it had been it has been an, a huge opportunity for European integration, and generally it has been used in the right way. And therefore, we must move further on in this direction. We have seen in this crisis that we must face much more connectiveness, interconnectiveness in the globalized world. No one uh, has until now in, in our discussion mentioned uh, the, 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 the subject of climate crisis, globalization, all these issues which are behind uh, many of our uh, changes in, 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 in this uh, 21st century. And therefore, we need, uh, we, we must use the, the crisis as an opportunity to move further on, strengthen uh, integration in Europe, to give Europe more efficiency, what is a difficult issue, to make Europe more engaged in global issues, what means that Europe must engage itself and the member states in global affairs. And of course, we have to use the opportunity to strengthen Atlantic partnership, because I totally agree uh, with uh, Francis Fukuyama that we need uh, a common basis in relation to China and Russia between United States and uh, European Union. It's, and so far, uh, the election of uh, uh, Joseph Biden is a huge opportunity, and we have to make clear that only on the basis of common values we can convince China and Russia that it's in their best interest to have good cooperation, economically, politically, because the world needs close cooperation between all major corporations. But of course, on the, on the basis of reciprocity, of the respect of the different values, we must not give up. We must not uh, our 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 uh, our values, and we must tell any partners we want better cooperation with everyone, but not on the price that we will become dependent of you. You cannot, and we will stay to our we will stick to our values, and that needs with, that Europe must become much more efficient and f faster in, in, in the decision making, getting more engagement in security issues, solving the migration problem in Africa, which is a huge uh, gap in European policy and in, in, the, in the credibility of, of European politics that we still today are not able to, to solve in a sufficient way the migration uh, um, a problem for, from, from Africa by the Mediterranean. And so on, of course, we end in, 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 in security issues, Europe must become a more relevant partner in the Atlantic Partnership, what is to the member states. First of all, my own member states, totally clear. I agree. But even for Europe, and uh, when, you, when you see at the ground, at the basic, there's a lot of to do. And so far, it's, a, it's really a pity that UK, not only since Brexit, Mr. Franklin, but, but also in the look at the Ukraine crisis, the Normandy process to, to, to try to, to solve the problem with Russia in a negotiation procedure in the Normandy format. Uh, uh, France and uh, Germany, together with Russia and Ukraine, without the United States of America, was ambitious enough. Without the United Kingdom, which was totally engaged with its own problem with Brexit discussion, was not, it was not sufficient. And I think we cannot impress Putin in, if, we not, if, we are, if we don't stand together. And if we get, don't get the United States as much involved, 
because if you see yourself like Russia or China as a global power, even in military affairs, you will not respect neither Germany nor Europe. And therefore, we must, have, we must work in this direction. We need a common uh, foreign policy and security policy. And by the way, as long as our, one of our major problems is in, in Europe, uh, to teach our Eastern Europe memberships, uh, members in the European Union what is needed, but in global dimension, it's not my biggest problem. I think the biggest achieve, achievement in European integration has to, had been to overcome the division of the European continent. If we would get a new division in the European continent, for whatever reasons, it would be a major defeat. Therefore, I would be a little bit more generous with, our, with the neighbors of Russia in the European Union, and I would do whatever is possible to make Europe much more re relevant in global affairs, even including security affairs. Thank you very much. And of course, in yeah, technology, including technology affairs. And I hope Vice President Chinas said the recovery fund and also uh, the, 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 the money which will be spent for, for, the, for the economic development uh, will really be used for innovation and uh, investment, and not for uh, closing uh, budget deficits, the normal budget deficit. Europe must become much more innovative, much more, because otherwise we will not, we will have to, to decide between a monop an, an oligopoly in, in, in the Silicon Valley and the state's monopoly of, of China, and I think there would, should be a, a, a better European way, but this requests more European efficiency in this regard.